I'm here with uh, Emma, a Mission Corps member for Maggie's Place in Cleveland. Uh, tell us about your work and how you came to be at Maggie's Place. Um, I actually heard about it through um, other people at school, um, and it was a ministry that just really gave people who didn't have um, a place to go when they were pregnant. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing is women um, don't have any support. And um, that's really what we aim to do at Maggie's Place is to give them a place to call home and um, to support them through such a um, kind of a turbulent time in their life, being alone and carrying a life inside of them. Um, and so we really aim to um, set goals and um, help them to achieve it and help them to feel success in their life um, for one time in their life. So you're a Mission Corps member, you're, don't, you're giving a summer, you're in college right now, and I think that's a wonderful thing to make known to people. This is an opportunity to serve for other college students if they can do that. What have, what have you gotten out of it, if I could put it that way, but how has it blessed you? Um, the biggest story that I can uh, say is that is just, um, I've been blessed with a beautiful family um, who loves and supports me, and that's really what I've seen at Maggie's Place, is that it is a giant family. Um, of pregnant women and um, young women such as myself who um, come together and support each other. Um, I'll never forget the first time that um, someone came home with something exciting to share. Um, and I remember, you know, hanging um, things on the refrigerator because I did something good. Um, and it's amazing that a woman, a full-grown woman, um, has never had that in their life, to have an achievement recognized. Um, and Someone came home with an ID, a picture on a piece of plastic, and the entire house like roared in excitement because of an ID, you know? And that um, support from a family setting um, has not only shown me how blessed I am, but how important it is to give support to people um, who don't have anything like that. Right, right. That's a, that's a great point. And I'm sure living in community with pregnant women is going to challenge, <laughs> is it? Absolutely, absolutely. We. Um, <laughs> We fight, uh, we are <laughs> screaming at each other, but the love that is overflowing in that house is out of control. Um, it is, um, it's a beautiful thing. It's, we laugh at each other all the time because we're like, what are we doing? <laughs> um, but it really, it's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful situation. It's definitely hard. Um, but I've learned more about myself, about God's grace and about God's strength in doing so. So it's a beautiful experience. And what about the service part for you personally? Um, you know, Pope Francis has talked a lot about that in his homilies and things about giving. How has that blessed your spiritual life? Has that changed the way you pray? Has it changed uh, the way you look at things? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I have learned um, that I am nothing without God's grace, um, that I literally am just hands and feet on this um, earth. And it, it takes, and we pray three times a day in the house as, a, as Mission Corps. Um, and we wake up in the morning and we pray and we say, God, like, I can't do it without you, um, and, and we just give it all to God, and our work is really, um, it's his handiwork. Um, it has blessed me um, personally because I've, I'm completely empty of myself, and I, I have nothing to give but God at this point. <laughs> and you kind of discover that because you, maybe failures or... <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. You can't make all the women happy? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a powerful lesson to really learn in a, a month and a half or something. Yes, yeah, it really is, it really is. It's it's incredible just being there like a few days. Um, you try and you, you're like, okay, I can do everything. I'm like a super, super human. And then you realize, oh no, just kidding. <laughs> you are nothing. Um, so. Now you take it to the Lord and say, Lord help. Yes, absolutely. Anytime I don't know how to handle anything or I, I have no answer, I don't, I've never been pregnant or <laughs> alone and so I just say God it's in your hands um, and it's it's very humbling but it also um, it's taught me so much trust so much trust thanks for talking with us awesome. thank you